In this video, we are going to go over how to schedule and host Zoom meetings for students. When you get to Zoom, you'll need to sign in with Google. So you scroll down and click on sign in with Google, choose your district account, and it drops you into the meetings page. This is where your scheduled meetings will be, where you'll want to click start as the host, and we'll start by clicking on schedule a new meeting button. You'll type in the title of your meeting under topic. You can choose when your meeting is scheduled by clicking on the little red calendar icon to choose the date and setting the time for your meeting, paying attention to AM or PM, making sure you have the right one set, and then choosing the duration. We're going to set our meeting for 30 minutes here in this example. Then there are some meeting settings to pay close attention to as we scroll down. You should not check for required registration. It is not required for students to have a Zoom account, so do not check for them to require registration. You should probably check for their video to be turned on, but that's not necessary. Then under meeting options, we have enabled waiting rooms turned on, but you should not check for only authenticated users can join. That is another one that um, should not be checked. The registration and authenticated users can trip up parents and students when they are trying to join your session, so those should be unchecked. You can mute participants upon entry if you would like your students to um, be quiet and focused during your session, um, but you can also uh, leave that unchecked. So once you've clicked save, this is your meeting information and on the right side is the copy invitation. So you'll see that the enable waiting room really is the only one that needs to be checked. You can click on copy this invitation and this is how you should be inviting your students is copying that invitation and pasting it into a blank email that you are emailing to your students or parents via message center in Skyward or via emailing all guardians or students in Google Classroom. So either way you are emailing parents or students using the BCC field so they can't reply all or see each other's emails copying that invitation and sending it that way so that it's not confusing in a Google Calendar invite, copying that invitation and sending it um, via an email is uh, the easiest way for parents and students to access your Zoom invitation. You can access this invitation or the join URL link to post in your Google Classroom by accessing the meetings and clicking on your meeting again. You also have the start this meeting button inside your meeting. You need to start the meeting as the host from your account, not from a link in the Google Calendar. So you need to start from your account and you can always click on that and access the invitation again to email to your parents or students. So again, do not click on registration or authenticated users only. The waiting room is a really great feature for admitting only the students and people that you want to be in your meeting. So now we have a Zoom meeting open and I have clicked on manage participants. This is where you will admit people into your class. You can also lock your meeting by clicking on more in the bottom right once all of your students have joined your class. And there's some other options that you can um, choose to further manage your um, Zoom meeting for your students. But by clicking on the manage participants button down along the bottom, that is how you will admit students into your session. So remember, don't check required registration or authenticated users and use the waiting room to admit only the people you want in your Zoom meeting with managed participants and use copy invitation to share out your Zoom meeting with students via email.